Dereva we sige damu ze stanu na chisambira mkoti ya dae di sokeru wako. Ewa ze se misange jie kusa kubisolo vyo monsiko. Enko ze sayebi mabikali magezu wa muno mutindo guwebi intu. Etu ulamu kampala. Asose kudamu kusomira misange jie mkwasa. Mumasa kwa mna mzgilade skama sanyo. Dereva stanu na chisambira. Agudua kwa musango guoko gerebi gambe bisigo kuchayeri ya bala muzi. Wadenga guwe ganyi. The charge against you is that of hate speech, which is contrary to section 26A, capital A, 1, subsection 1, paragraph C of the Computer Misuse Act of 2011, as was amended this year, last year of 2022. The law is the Computer Misuse Act of 2011, which was amended in the year 2022. Okay, these are the particulars, Stanley. So that one go is that Yeah, the particulars are that you, Chisambida Stanley, came to Chisambida Stanley on the 12th day of the month of May, the year 2023. Within Uganda, through a computer, you shared. You shared on the Uganda Judiciary Transport WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group Uganda Judiciary Uganda Judiciary Transport group. <laughs> transport WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group, yeah. It's what transport WhatsApp group. Like Share the information on that group of WhatsApp. To WhatsApp, on WhatsApp. To wit, this is the information. A recorded audio, which was likely to promote hostility and that this was likely to promote hostility against judges in the judiciary of Uganda over and above those of their drivers the judges salaries that judges salaries are unfairly over and above those of their drivers and that a driver can decide to cause road accidents by ramming into a moving truck thereby killing the judges and their bodyguards. Did you understand what was so but you said you didn't understand. We'll read them again. Orudoru wabi utegeze zango kuno nyile za musango guno. Bokocha agena mumaso. Stanu na chisambiranga hita mubanna matekabe. Asabi okutewa kakaluka koti. Edanga wanalesa muemi lilo kubademba zira Francis. Wambiru na di Patrick. Wamune Grace mukisa mchala we. In the church. Unfair treatment. Words relating to unfair treatment, the offense does not involve any violence, but rather involves, from the particulars in the church, words relating to the unfair remuneration. Judge drivers 
there is drivers. Your Honor, the accused person has no criminal record. Your Honor, he's uh, again from the charge sheet itself, a driver of the judiciary. They have fixed places of abode. They've provided documents relating to their workplaces. That is to say, uh, employment IDs for sureties number one and two. And an introduction later, Your Honor, for the third surety regarding her stationary business in Gunga. So, Your Honor, we pray that you find them that they are substantial and we pray for a non cash bond for the accused person on the basis of the 235,000 shillings that he receives as salary. <laughs> but, 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 but your honor, the basis for a non cash and that is why that is why we your honor section fifty six the court is the employer of the accused person. So section fifty six requires us to take judicial notice of these yes, records. The, the, you, you are the one who wants to do the So your honor Your Honor, and, and Your Honor, Your Honor, we're giving. Your Honor, the prosecution will, 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 will rebut in their submission. Your Honor, I pray that uh, I give you grounds why you should grant a non cash bond. And Your Honor, allow me to proceed. Where you find that my submissions are lacking, Your Honor, you'll give a ruling. So, Wawulo ludolu wabilu wakanyi zoku sabakuno, ngaluga mantibano, tebatu wakanyi na visanyi zobi ya koti, oluvanyi malo kubanga tebala zebulu unyi bifumi wa wangalida. Kone enso ngeindala, wanasabia koti stano chisambilu obu tamota, wamunu hukumute kako obu kwa kulizu obu kakari. Uh, Fiona has presented an introductory letter from his ancestral home. Fiona, that is not what the rules say. He had to present an introductory letter from the place where he, re he resides. And he had told uh, <coughs> Yona he had informed police that he stays in Sazaguru zone in Okono district. So Yona he has not furnished us with an introductory letter from the chairperson LC1 from Sazaguru. <coughs> and neither has he presented his national ID. Uh, you are therefore releasing the accused person would be very risky. Uh, you know there are two tenants in grant of bail which I wish to submit at home. That when bail is granted, we, does the accused person will the accused person show up? If he doesn't, is it easy for the authorities to trace for him? Yona, if Mr. Chisambira doesn't show up, the police authorities have nowhere to start from. They don't know whether he could shift, whether he has a fixed place overboard, whether he rents in Sazagulu. It's a complete mystery. That ground alone would pray that bail is denied. He has not complied with the mandatory guideline from the Chief Justice that upon applying for bail, you, sh you furnish uh, the court with an introductory letter and a national aid. Of their deputies, subordinate officers and assistants, and also all officers acting in execution of, of its process, and of all advocates and all other persons authorized by law to appear or act on their behalf. You know, drivers are not envisaged in this section. So they cannot be judicially recognized. So, you know, therefore, <coughs> surety number one had to prove 
just like the rest of us, that he has a fixed place of abode. Uh, you know, he presented the letter. It's of very little read of us. It doesn't tell us anything about the surety. Whether he, he has a fixed place of abode, does he have his own house? Does he rent? The names of the landlord, if any. Uh, Omulamuzi Gladys kama sanyu wabula agobi okusawa kwa uludoru wabi. Mbwasa ze woku tastanu lechisambida kakaluka abukade kumi. Ezitali za abuliwo. His wife and a nephew. I have listened to submissions of counsel for the applicant. The ones for the state attorney. This court is clothed with the discretion to grant or deny bail to the applicant. And where bail is granted or denied for sure reasons for any of those decisions must be given by court and in granting bail court must balance the rights of the accused and those of the complainants and in this case i bear in mind that the accused person is actually still presumed to be innocent since he denies the charges he denies the allegations and the prosecution has not yet adduced evidence to show beyond reasonable doubt that he did commit the offense. In granting bail, court is under duty to ensure the applicant actually returns to court and answers the charge, or the charges, to the end, which is mainly, which is, which is mainly the complainant's interest, to see that the case they report to court is hard to the end. In this case, the accused has presented before um, this court his employer's national his employer's ID, together with his national ID. The national ID of the applicant details the applicant's place of abode, which is the same as the place that is on his, on the charge sheet before our court. There is no requ no more requirements to prove place of residence beyond that. You have a national ID and you have the place of residence indicated by the very people who are charging the accused. I need to also make it clear that the bail guidelines of the Honorable Chief Justice of the Republic of Uganda are guidelines to courts while considering bail applications and they are very clear. There is no requirement as accused should be proving places of residence, employment, and as making them mandatory. As long as court is satisfied that the, the applicant can be traced and be brought back to court, can continue to answer the charges to the end, that should suffice. And in this case, the applicant's place of residence and his place of work actually are not in dispute. As regards his sureties that he presented before court, these are all sureties that have proven to court to know the applicant. They are all adults who are reasonable members of this nation, who are possessed with the potential to trace for the accused and also actually compel him return to court as and when he is needed by this court. They are his people. Those are his people who know him better. Court cannot insist on him presenting any other sureties. The sureties presented are actually substantial. The bail guidelines do not make it mandatory for sureties to present letters of LC detailing all that the state attorney has talked about, much as that uh, decision of the judge uh, that, like counsel has said that was delivered before the guidelines says so. Uh, so the bail guidelines do not make it mandatory for the judges to present uh, letters of introduction detailing all that the land said attorney had, uh, talked about in his submissions but they invite, the guidelines do invite courts to take into account the factors listed by the guidelines, which this court has actually done and found that the sureties do satisfy the requirement of standing as a surety. For instance, 
guidelines state that the surety should present mandatory documentary proof, including an introductory letter from the LC1 chairperson of the area where they reside. Each of the sureties before our court has presented, on top of, has presented a letter of introduction, on top of them presenting their national IDs. All in all, these are substantial sureties in the circumstances. The choose person having presented substantial sureties before a court, charged with an offense that is payable by this court, still presumed to be innocent until the state adduces evidence to prove him guilty, is given a chance to answer the charge from home, as opposed to coming from prison, is therefore today granted bail. These are the terms. It is bonded the sum of 10 million Uganda shillings. This is not in cash. Each of the sureties will execute a non-cash bond of 5 million Uganda shillings only. Koti ya kudamu kutulangi na kuzo mwezi kuminabili, omwezi ogwa mkago mwaka guwanko mibili ya abili mwezi sato, okuhuli dizo wa msango gunu. Bala budue mirundi minji, okwe walo kuata, ngateba nano onyeleza. Chiri cha makuru okubela anti muno onyeleza, obudizo ya ubabu mala, then muli oke mkwate, na atete mkwata, ni mutandi koku no onyeleza. Oluda, oluleza chisambi, luetu yuftefu kubanga, chisambi la luetu yuftefu kubanga, Luo uleleza chisambida. Nensu vila omusango guno tegu wali genze mkoti. Chetu wali wa detuwa na choche. Choku wanti nino tuweza ne, ne njo gereze ganya ku badriver wano. Chiche wali wa deba soko kore wa baina yisi babatia. Kubane mkoti mula vichisambida nga bamo ega nambu no yesichi si mkozi wa koti. So nsu vila chari wa dechi kore wa kulaba anti tuwa tucha mbele eno. Ensonga zine zivu nanyi wa chisambida. Zivela zichanga zigo onjolua ngati tetugenze mu mbeera ntino tulimu ya kubeera ntino omuntu ateba mukutte bunu si musango naye ekintu kiri political kiri administrative kyali bade kigwere iyo so si mukoti stan na kisambira avunani mu ruwa katambi akali katambira ku mikuto jimugatta bantu ngakala go butali mu mativu ku nsimbi emitwala makumi abili ezali zimuwe wango omusala ngadde leva we sige damuze ona abadde akumi mu mukomi eruzira Okuva kubalaza ya sabi itienu.